What's up, boys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Fadi. This is Boosted Forward. Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in and enjoying the videos, liking the videos. I appreciate the love and support. You know, for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. For those of you that are giving me a thumbs up on my videos, thank you. For those of you that are not giving me a thumbs up and giving me a thumbs down, well, you guys kind of suck. All right, in today's video, we are reuniting with two cars that you guys know pretty well on this channel now. We got the world's fastest stock motor Porsche that has gone 186 miles an hour and a half mile, and we have the world's fastest McLaren 720S. As you may remember, these two guys uh, met before at the Wanna Go Fast Half Mile event where they ran from a dig. Now at that time, the Porsche 911 Turbo was making about 812 wheel horsepower to the wheels on race gas and methanol, and the McLaren 720S was making 882 wheel horsepower on 93 octane pump gas. <laughs> So when Pablo and I went to race the uh, McLaren 720S in my twin turbo Huracan, the Porsche owner met with the McLaren 720S owner there as well and they talked about some uh, roll racing and they agreed to do about a 45 mile per hour roll. Of course the McLaren owner wanted to avenge his loss so he wanted to rerun the Porsche from a roll to see what happens. Now keep in mind since the want to go fast half mile event the McLaren has gotten significantly quicker. Uh, it got dialed in on race gas making you know a lot of power uh, close to 950 wheel horsepower and uh, it also went to the track and ran some stupid fast numbers. The Porsche also went to the track and ran seriously impressive numbers for a stock motor Porsche. Here's the video you guys. Enjoy the footage. We'll see you in a little bit.
All right, so you guys saw those races and you guys also saw that the McLaren 720S trapped at 155 miles an hour and the Porsche 911 Turbo trapped about 146. So there's a 10 mile an hour difference in trap speeds at the drag strip between these two cars. And when you look at these roll races from a 45, that's what it looks like when there's a 10 mile an hour difference between two cars at the drag strip. What was interesting to me though was how long uh, the Porsche stayed ahead and how long it took the McLaren 720S to catch and pass the Porsche. So as you saw, it took about 120 miles an hour for the McLaren 720S to pass the 911 Turbo. So this basically tells me one thing, right? We all know that the 720S is a phenomenal platform. It's, it's a fast car. It can do a lot with very little. But the thing is, it needs perfect conditions in order to do what it needs to do. It needs a, a very well uh, prepped surface on a track or it needs a very long stretch of road uh, to stretch out its legs in order to pass a car. I mean, had that been like a street light race or had that been a quick burst race on, a, on the highway, guess what? The McLaren would have been in trouble. It would have lost the races. I really think once they figure out a traction solution for the McLaren, once they put a tire on that car and get it to hook up um, as well as an all wheel drive car from a 45 mile an hour roll, which is very possible, you just have to know what you're doing, that car is going to be absolutely lethal. All right, so coming up next, you guys, I am in the process right now with um, getting a track rental so I can race drag times stock McLaren 720S in my Porsche 911 Turbo. That is going down very, very soon. I am in the midst of talking to the track uh, in Florida to get that all set up. So I will give you guys an update on that as soon as I have that. I am super excited for that race. That is going to be a super, super close race. All right, boys, as usual, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this type of content, don't forget to put your notifications on, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next video.